Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, actually, I don't really care what you say. So these past couple weeks have been really busy for me making some, some funny videos. I've also been writing some songs lately. Came up with another country song. Oh yeah, it's good. I guess I, I should explain. Um, I put out country music sometimes, um, country songs. Not because I like them, I'm proud of them. I am always proud of something that I make, but it's kind of like an imperfect pride. I'm imperfectly proud of my country music and my parody songs. It's not like a work of art, it's, it's a joke. Yeah, and then I've got like my other songs which I'm perfectly proud of. I'm imperfectly proud of my funny songs and perfectly proud of my not funny songs. So you can look forward to some country music coming out soon. I got one, it's a... Uh, it's called County Fair. It's pretty good. It's it's about just like going to a county fair. I, I went to the state fair, um, Illinois State Fair, a couple months ago. It was interesting. I don't know that I'd ever been to a fair, and I certainly hadn't been to a state fair. You know, not something this large. It was humongous. Like, I was expecting, like, okay, a little town carnival with some food and stuff. I get there, and my first surprise was seeing permanent structures like it said illinois fairgrounders is something like that state fairground and i was like wait, wait wait a second there are permanent structures for this this thing's huge it was like 50 times larger than i expected and actually about 50 percent of as fun as i expected i really didn't like it it just wasn't very entertaining for me like i'm walking around and there's these couple bands playing music i walked by one and it was just like the lamest country music you've ever heard just so stereotypical hot country or pop country there's the girls in the the belly shirts and the cut-off jeans playing next to the guys with no sleeves and tattoos as they put on fake country accents. That's the kind of music that they're playing. I'm just like, this is stupid. So anyway, yeah, didn't really like that. And the food was overpriced. I'm like, yeah, I can go here. I can pay to get in so I can buy expensive food and listen to music I don't like. That was my experience of the fairground. It was really depressing. But anyway, it inspired me to write a country song, County Fair. It's good. I don't know when I'll put that out. I, I'll get that one out. I like that one. I'll get it out. There's pretty much one, there's two criteria for, for music that I like. One, the words need to be intentional, okay? And most of the time when they're just like cussing left and right, and you're like, okay, that's not intentional. It's just, you're, just, you're not thinking through these lyrics. Criteria two, it needs to have soul. And I don't mean like R&B soul music, although that is one of my favorite genres. I mean like the person singing it or playing the instruments, they need to actually care what they're playing. And it needs to come from their soul, from inside them, instead of just being like, then I saw her face. I'm a believer, not a trace of doubt in my mind. I'm in love, who I'm a believer, I couldn't leave her if I tried. It needs to be someone actually cares about what they're playing, so let me get this back on my shoe. They need to actually care about what they're playing, it needs to come from their soul, either through their playing or through their singing. And I don't really care which one it is. Actually, I do. It needs to be both. Well, country music is a little bit lacking in the soul part. Most of the singers put on fake accents. You hear them talking in like interview videos, and then you hear them singing, and you're like, you don't even talk like that. Why are you singing like that? Do you think it's necessary for the genre? It's not, by the way. I don't know, maybe they think they'll connect better with their audience if they put on an accent even though most of their listeners don't necessarily even have that accent. I don't know 
hardly anyone who has these accents. These are fake accents. Most of them don't even sound realistic. No one talks like this. And yet we hear all the pop singers do country singing. Our voice cracks all the time. Especially the female artists. The male guys mostly just talk in the back of their throat as they sing in their sound. Boom, 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 boom. I love making parodies to country music that just like is that <laughs> it's so painful for me to listen to that that i love doing it also the lyrics are usually so simple and formulaic all you need to do is mention george Strait, mention booze mention girls trucks guns patriotism there's that bird again patriotism there's just this checklist that you can go through and you're like okay what do i write this song on well let's go through the mantra Girls, okay, did that one. Booze, okay, did that one. Trucks, yeah, did that one. Guns, oh, this one, I haven't done guns in a while. I'll do guns. Side note, I figured out the only difference between modern country and modern rap. Country is girls, booze, trucks, guns. Rap is girls, booze, drugs, guns. It's literally like three letters difference between <laughs> all their topics. It's just one talks about trucks, the other one talks about drugs. It's such easy pickings. There's this one video that I saw. There's this family gathering and he's walking around and he's got his guitar and he's strumming it and happy and everyone's just like walking by and they're like, ah. and that's not like slow motion. They're just that stiff as they're acting. They're, they're just like walking by him in regular time, not slow motion. And they wave at him. They're like, ah. And then he passes the next guy who's like, oh, ho, ho. And then someone else is like, here, have a drink, <laughs> family. It's painful. So painful. So if you see any country music from me, don't think that I like it. I just, I, I play it because cause it's hilarious. Although I do like some country. I have some country on my playlist. Garth Brooks, he sings with soul. He puts actual time into writing his lyrics. He's a great performer. He wrote a ton of stuff and a lot of it is terrible, but he's got some great songs. Uh, Alan Jackson, fantastic artist. Again, he wrote a ton of stuff and a lot of it is terrible. George Strait every once in a while, he's, he's got a few good ones. And then you got like bluegrass country, like the old school original stuff, true country, western bluegrass, hillbilly music. Some people even like consider John Denver. He's more singer songwriter, but he's kind of like the precursor to country. And I love him, I love singer songwriters. Some of this, this folky music, that's what country should be. That's <clears throat> anyway, country music is great. It's also terrible, <laughs> but it's great. It's so good. It's hilarious. Even when it's not trying, actually only when it's not trying to be. So if you like country music, I'm sorry, I guess. Um, there's counselors. I feel bad for you. Um, not because of anything I did. I, I was just speaking the truth. And, and you can always speak the truth no matter what even if it hurts people. Remember that, kids. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end of this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If not, I'm sorry, I guess. There's counselors. I'll see you later. And in the meantime, stay tuned for some more funny commercials and some sketches. I had a lot of fun putting together that Jeep commercial last week, which you can watch here. And that's it, I guess. So let's spend our lives looking for that comfort sign And in the end everything will be fine